Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the MetaNet channel. I am Marcus, bringing you another video for Card Fight Vanguard Overdress. In this video, of course, as per the introduction to this video, we're gonna talk about the Mad Titan, Willista. So, Willista is the fourth deck archetype that we have for Lyrical Monastrail. Her playstyle is more or less featured a really, really high powered three attack playstyle, where you could basically have a lot of power on those three attacks. You focus on two very specific precious stone orders that is in the deck, which we will cover later. Hence why the intro of portraying her as Thanos. You could also superior call from the deck, but then with the cost of putting the rest of those cards on the deck to the drop zone, which means that if you do spam this ability, you're gonna deck out really fast. So most of the skills featured in this deck is gonna be really spammable. I will take a note on which skill is spammable and which skill is not spammable in this deck. Her deck more or less functions like Zorga a little bit because she does focus around playing the two order, the Precious Stones order, which is kind of like Zorga. And then she has some skills that actually helps you refund those orders from the drop zone, which is also really, really nice. This deck does requires you to have a very careful resource management skills because while you do get a lot of stuff back, but if you use those some of those skills really recklessly, you're gonna backfire really, really badly. And of course, this whole deck features human. First off, we have Brilliance Hiding or Willis Stop. Okay, so stutter. Nothing much to say, so skip. So the first Infinity Stone we're gonna talk about. <laughs> Everlasting Sapphire. Choose one of your units and it gets 5k power until the end of turn. Put this card into your soul. What this means is that once you play this order, you're able to choose one unit and that unit will plus 5. And of course, instead of going to the drop zone, this card will be going to the soul. And there's a reason for that because Tribalista herself will require you to specifically soul blast one of these infinity stones. I mean, at the moment, we only have two infinity stones. And also it does give you soul charge if you do need that extra soul to feel whatever cost that you want which is not bad i mean it's not going to be the most game breaking but then as i said in the summary is that these cards are spammable next infinity stones is true hearted ruby play this card with counter blast one draw two cards choose a card from your hand and discard it put this card into your soul so like the previous sapphire card this card will go to soul after you pay the cost the plus side to this card is that you're able to kind of like draw resources which is really really good and is you're able to kind of draw into your some of your combo pieces and also do note you can also discard other infinity stones if you have a lot of them in your hand and then you can basically get some of them via some other skills from the drops onto the soul which will fuel villa stuff do keep that in mind because these are the only two infinity stones bushiro discovered so far First off, of course, is the Great One Willista. Proof of Effort Willista. Although when this unit is rolled upon, cost, put a card from your hand into your soul. Search your deck for up to one precious stone card, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Second skill, Auto, Rear Guard. When you play an order, Soul Blast 1 and this unit plus 5k until the end of turn. The precious stone card here, it's talking about the two infinity stones that I talked about in the previous section. So you're able to put a card from your hand into your soul to get another precious stone. What this means is that you can actually have both infinity stones on your in your soul the first time you write the grade 2 on top of this Willista because if you have like one of the infinity stones you can basically once you write on top of Willista you basically could put one of the stones to the soul and then search out another one you could search out the same one it's up to you you could search out another one it is also up to you it's quite nice and it helps sets up for the grade 3 cost and also deck filtering, really, really nice. Now, although I did put here like only need one piece is for the right deck, but there's something to note here is that the second skill is actually not once per turn, you, meaning that every time you play an order, you're able to soul blast one to plus 5k. And yes, this deck does have card skills that actually increase the number of times you can play an order, which we will cover later. But then every single time you play an order, you need to soul blast one to gain 5k is... Uh, 
a little bit questionable. It's an option. Next up, we have Expanding World Willista. Auto, Vanguard Circle, once per turn. When you play a Precious Stone card, draw a card. Second skill, Continuous Guardian Circle. This unit gets 5k shield for every two Precious Stone cards in your drop zone. So, yeah, of course, right target. Pretty much self-explanatory. The free draw from you playing the Precious Stone card is really nice, but basically it's a one-for-one -one trade. Unless, of course, you're using the red Infinity Stones, then that's a different story. However, this is one of those right targets card that you could play more than one because the shield value for every two precious stone card in your drop zone. So potentially if you're if you're saying like the maximum amount of shield that this card could get is she will be a 45k shield on her own. So imagine having two of this card in your hand. Now we move on to the grade three Willista, which is Prisma Jika. What is that? Two skills. Active Vanguard Circle. Soul Blast 1 True Hearted Ruby. Until the end of turn, this unit plus 15k and your opponent cannot intercept. Second skill. Active Vanguard Circle. Soul Blast 1 Everlasting Sapphire. Look at 5 cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to 2 units from among them. Call them to open Vanguard Circle. Discard the rest and those units get 5k power until the end of turn. So this is why you will need those two Infinity Stones in the soul. The first skill plus 5k power to herself is nice and could potentially see you spamming the skill when you know that your opponent does not have any PGs. The second skill is where you will need to kind of be careful a little bit because although the second skill is not once per turn, if you spam this recklessly, yeah, you're gonna deck out real like really really fast you're burning through your deck and you might not get the cards that you even need and if you do get the cards that you need you call them and you discard the rest so there's a possibility that you discard a over trigger which is not good so we move on to the triple r of willista support loving watching over Otirie. auto rear circle when you play true hearted ruby if your vanguard is the grade 3 willista this unit gets 10k power until the end of turn and you may play an additional order this turn increase the number of plays when activated basically what she means is that whenever you play this card right here if you are in the grade 3 willista you're able to basically plus 10k to this unit until the end of turn now keep in mind this unit is spammable. As long as you keep playing True Hearted Ruby, you're able to give this unit insane amount of power. It's every 10k per stone play. On top of gaining power, you're able to plus one every time you play an order. So the most you can get out of this card is basically play four True Hearted Ruby and give this unit plus 40k power, which is insane. Disgusting. <laughs> This is one of those cards that is really, really good for this deck, but then it's a little bit late because it does require you to be at grade three. So. Oh, and also you need to call her out before you play True Hearted Ruby because it's an auto skill and it only activates at the moment you play that card. So if you play True Hearted Ruby without Otirie on the field, you're not going to get the 10k. Next up, we have the grade two Contradicting Kindness Virginia. Auto Rearguard Circle. At the end of the battle, this unit attack while boosted. If you play an order this turn, cost, put this unit into her soul and counter charge one. Now, of course, this might not be specifically for Willista, but then I'm just gonna put this here as a generic card for all of Lyrical Monastery deck. The CC as well as the Soul Charge is actually really nice. And what's more, she only activates her skill at the end of battle, which is that she already attacks and then gives you back cost refunds that you really, really need. However, the problem here is that you will need to boost Virginia herself as well as play an order card. Not many decks in Lyrical Monastery that actually plays an order Order, but there are other cards that is able to be used throughout the deck. Next up, we have Quiet Love Alivia. Auto Rearguard Circle. When you play Everlasting Sapphire, if your Vanguard is the Grade 3 Ballista, draw a card. Everlasting Sapphire is the blue Infinity Stone. This card is actually similar to the Grade 3 Triple R that we have, is that whenever you play on the blue Infinity Stone, if your Vanguard is the Grade 3 Ballista, you draw a card. So basically, you are able to once again spam this skill, but the only requirement is she needs to be on the field before you play Everlasting Sapphire. Next up, we have Mystic Voice Renata. Renata. Auto, when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, choose up to two precious stone cards with the same names from your drop. Put a card among them on the bottom of your deck and put the rest into your soul. Now, this card is really, really good if you find yourself like almost out of precious stone. You could call this out and basically recycle your precious stone card in the drop zone 
I mean one to the bottom and one to the sole it's quite nice but then the problem here is that you can only choose two of the same name meaning two blue infinity stone or two red infinity stone and that is all for this video do let me know down in the comment section on what do you think of thanos I mean, Willista. Does she share her vision of annihilating the world by half as Thanos? Or does she has a more complicated plan? Do like and subscribe if you like this video. And do ring the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a video I upload. With that being said, I'll see you all on the field.